<laughs> okay, people of the internet, my name is Uduri Jagero and this is Dialogues with Jagero. Today we are going to be discussing something. We are being joined live on Facebook oh, and on TikTok mm -hmm. and we are also having a recording here. Yeah. Hey. We want to talk about weed. Yes, my ninja. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, let me just put this one out of the way. Yeah. I, I, I want to start this conversation by saying yeah. that um, I used to to be like sick. Yeah. I've had a problem with my health for some time. Yes. And the problem has been to do with bones, mm. uh, to do with um, with joints. Yeah. And um, I had to leave the country and go to Italy yeah. to get to do an operation. And when I went there, they told me that um, I could try CBD yeah, man. to ease my pain. Yeah. And uh, CBD, what is CBD in full? CBD is can cannabidiol. Cannabidiol? Yes. What do you mean by cannabidiol? CBD? Uh, it's, yes, CBD, it's a cannabidiol. It's shortened that, cannabidiol. So the cannabidiol, this is... This is, this is um, one of the ingredients in cannabis, you know, you have the THC mm -hmm. and then you have the cannabidiol. So cannabidiol, when they tell you to try CBD, it's what is, uh, gives it uh, the medicinal properties that it is known for. Yeah. So the reason why they are recommending CBD to you without asking your history with cannabis, without asking whether you smoke cannabis, without asking uh, what are your... Um, how do you socially view cannabis? Yeah, is because CBD it's uh, it's not the weed that most people think weed is, mm. because it doesn't contain the THC yeah. that that makes you high. It is the element that gives it the medicinal value. Yeah. So children who are suffering from let's say epilepsy, you know, uh, there are uh, th th these days there are a lot of uh, uh, neuro uh, of 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 diseases that are affect the neurons and stuff like like that, mm -hmm. and just the way the brain works. Eh? Yeah. So for such diseases, even for children, CBD is recommended because it doesn't make them high. Yeah. It it heals them. Mm. Yes, it treats them. Yeah. Let us. I don't know how much you know about history, but I want to. I want to go back to yeah. how I knew you and, yeah. and cannabis. Yeah. And I. W I told you that I'm going to background on your story with cannabis. Yes. So you are a writer. Yes, I'm a fucking writer. Yeah, and then you, at some point, you decided to write for yourself. Yes. And to write for yourself, you decided that, all right, I am going to be writing about wheat. Yes, yes, the most yes. In, the most in, interesting part of that, of you getting into writing about wheat, yeah. is that wheat is illegal in Kenya. Yeah. And it is illegal in most African countries. Yes. It is illegal in most countries around the world. Yes. So um, then you decided to say, okay, I'm not going to write for Kenyans because I'm going to write how to grow weed. Yeah. I am going to write how to consume weed. Yes. How to preserve weed. Yes. The very, the, what, what, just let me, let me just, let me just ask some of the things that you are writing about so that it is clear because I don't know many, many uh, of much the things about I, it, yes. I heard about. I, yeah. I run Weed Mania for 20. Yes. So what Weed Mania for 20 does, it's mostly, uh, about growing weed, we do a lot about growing weed from the from seed to to how you cure it for the top shelf display and where you sell it now. So, most of what much of, of what I write is in is in growing because I I feel it's very empowering mm -hmm. when you can grow your own weed because yeah. first if you can grow your own weed it means you can ditch the dealer. And the good thing with ditching the dealer is that you never know where this weed is coming from, you know, until you get your own and you grow it. And now you can you can be sure, of, especially in Kenya, where it is still illegal. You know, in other places where weed has now been decriminalized, you can go for a specific strain because you're looking for a specific feeling. And you know that people in, 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 in the QA, it's been QA'd, you know, the quality is assured. So you it can has go been taken to the lab and yes, test it, it has been taken to the lab and, mm -hmm. and, and it's been processed and you know I'm getting what I'm paying for. Yeah. So though you will pay more, you get you get to consume something that you know. 
you you have a feeling that you are trying to get from it and you are 100% sure that I'm going to get it mm. for instance if you want to to smoke purple haze mm. what is purple haze uh, purple haze is just one of the strains mm. there are so many many strains so strain is a brand of weed a strain is a a strain is a type of weed <clears throat> yes 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 a strain is the a strain is a is the type of it is like what's grown from that seed the way for maize you have what we used to call katumani and all these other things you know yeah. even within the sorghum family within the millet family you have the millet you have the sorghum you have the what is the, the same thing with the uh, with weed yeah so one of the reasons why uh, i i'd really like weed to be legalized is so that you can grow it yourself and you get what you know every fucking time Mm. You know in a country like Kenya if i say i smoke weed how sure how sure am i that i've smoked weed do you even know the quality of weed ninja smoke out here you, you smoke something that you don't even fucking know you're just smoking a joint because a dealer sold it to you sometimes it's some leaves leaves of weed you know sometimes there's some bad bad shit it's not kept in the right place and you don't know what you're smoking so jagero Weed works this way. Mm. I should I should wake up in the morning. If I wake up in the morning and I feel like yo, I I I had a, like yesterday was Friday. I had a drink. I feel like I need something to cheer me up. I need to to do some work now. I should have a specific strain for that. That right now I just need something to stimulate me, to give me the mood for work. I should be able to get a weed for that. Get it, light it, smoke it and get the mood to do my job. Mm-hmm. But right now in Kenya as it is because it's been <laughs> you can't you can't get anything I will say I feel like I should take a joint and work and then I take a joint and I land up sleeping for the rest of the day because the effect I want from the joint I can't predict I can't predict what I need from this joint I do can't you, predict do you what mean I'm that getting. do you mean do you mean to say that every there are different weed for different purposes yes like what Like like, like like when you want to like 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 if you like if you what they do like if if you want to um we we have we have we have we have the varieties we have the sativa and we have the we have the indica yeah so mostly for sativa strains sativa dominant strains um you use them when you want to feel uh, mellow you know mm. you have to have a good time they put in good moods you know mm. Uh, they are very good for c- some creative process because you don't really get the real value of cannabis when you're dealing with uh, dealers when you when the state is as it is now because you take what you can what you can place your hands on mm. you know no quality assurance you don't know what you're taking mm. if you see a ninja you know ninjas who smoke weed eh? you yeah, know in your circle of friends you know a few ninjas who smoked weed ask them what it is that you smoked this morning they won't they won't have a reply so i was telling you yeah. in, in, it should be yeah uh that i should smoke weed to i should decide how i want to feel before i get my weed you get it like man i'm in the mood for merry making i just want to have sex and then i get a, I, I, i get a strain for that and then i smoke that strain uh, and i go do my thing right now i want to sleep i've been running the yard all week now i need a good rest i need to to sleep like i'm dead and then i smoke a joint for that so you can go sleep. you can go to a shop yes and tell them that i want a string that will make me have sex yes and w- do you know the names of those of those of we those could, we we should we, we 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 could google but there are a lot of strings for that you 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 remember when you were at the event we were at Rix's event mm. nothing underneath yeah should i be saying this on live but there were ladies who came there <laughs> and they said that the particular um uh, uh brand that they were selling that particular moment mm. was a cannabis oil for sex so you could use it you could steep your tea with it and uh, get all the superpowers you need to eat this thing <laughs> <laughs> so the bottom line is uh weed shouldn't be it shouldn't like be a panadol for everything. Okay, let's go back to let's go back to why weed is illegal in many countries. 
Do yes. you know why weed is illegal in many countries and the history of why it is? The, reason, the biggest reason why weed is illegal in most places is because uh, it takes a lot of power and money out of the pockets of the big farmer and the people who run um, um, other industries. For instance, you find that weed in most places, uh, weed was being grown. In most states, there, there was a time that uh, you'd grow weed uh, as a cash crop, the hemp version. You know the hemp version? That thing has 50,000 industrial uses. So what would happen? People would grow hemp, and then this would be used to make ropes, used to make clothes, used to make uh, meals, used to make a whole lot of things. And this and this happened until uh, um, early 1990s, mm -hmm. uh, 1960s, around 1960s. There, yeah, when companies began coming up with th things like uh, polyesters, these synthetic materials. Yeah, and then also cotton also became a more preferable. Uh, material for making clothes yeah. because it wasn't as labor intensive as hemp mm. so around that time uh, and and when and, and and when ninjas were now making making um, making things from cotton a lot for a, a lot of things from cotton and then synthetic synthetic fa fabrics uh were becoming more popular mm. you know so that is around the, the time when production of weed got down and then government began passing ridiculous laws about this another theory also states that around uh, america began having negative uh, attitude towards weed around the time when a lot of immigrants were coming from the mexico right mm -hmm. were coming from mexico a lot of immigrants and then they were using this thing you know so it was one of the white ways of fighting cannabis because there was a time that it was believed that they were fighting cannabis to keep women safe from African men, oh. from, from black men, because it was felt like um, it gave this ninja, it, this, this was the thing that was uniform uh, around um, black people and people of color. Like ganja was a unifying thing. If you looked at the hippies, they were using this. It was it it was the thing that unified uh, what we'd call um, uh, rebels. So USA began to have uh, negative attitudes towards it, and state after state, uh, they made it illegal to have it. Why? And it it spread across the world. A lot of places around the world do not do not. Do not is illegal in most parts of the world. Yeah, were they following in the footsteps of the United States? So you, you, you can on? you can you can you can look at it this way. For most countries, like mostly for the developing countries, we steal a lot of things. We look, we steal a lot of things from the way USA does its things. But look at it now. Um, USA had been is now decriminalizing weed in most of its states, and now they're doing it as a business. All right. Meaning there is something that is that they can they, they are seeing it as an ec economic stimulant, yeah. So other other parts of the world, like most African countries, right right now we have like about five African countries that have dec decriminalized weed, and imagine Zimbabwe is one of them, and Kenya is still here. We are still thinking. So while we are still thinking, we still don't want to see the value in this. Other countries have smelled the coffee. Mm. Yeah, the the medis A lot of people claim that weed makes people mad. Mm. But there is very adverse effects on taking weed. Mm. They they sort of equate it with the heroin. They equate it with the hard drugs, and they say that if you smoke a lot of weed, then mm. you're going to be you are you are not going to be safe. And uh, a lot of Christians also equate mm. weed mm. with cigarette smoking with alcoholism and those kind of things. It's very interesting that there are many parts of the world where weed is actually used. Yeah. I remember a story that I was told by 
I was told by this story by a Tanzanian who, are, who was cycling around the world, cycling around the world, mm. and he was passing through uh, Colombia. Yes. And it was very cold in Colombia. Yeah. So, so cold. And what happened is that he he, he had a, I don't know whether it was a heart attack or whatever. Mm. He had such a horrible thing in his chest. Yeah. So he was taken by one of the one of the Colombian farmers. Yes. And he was taken to to his to his place. No. Yeah. And they gave him something that looked like like vegetables yeah. to chew. Mm. Right? Yeah. And um so when he regained his conscience, uh, his, 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 his consciousness, mm. he asked what the plant was, and he was told that it was coca leaves mm. that had actually resuscitated him. Yeah. So uh, it's very it's very interesting mm. that you would put it down, please, because we will do that again on the on the table. Yeah. It, so it it's very very interesting that. There are so many things. Yeah. I was told to take a little bit of weed. Yeah. I was not told to smoke it. I was told to take it. You, you, you were told to take it in the in, in its most uh, potent medicinal form, yeah. the CBD. And they said that it is going to take care of the bones. It yeah. is going to take care of uh, a lot of things. It has anti-inflammatory properties. Yeah. You so, know. so I wanted to ask you, yeah. what are some of the medicinal uh you know, properties, of, properties of, of, of marijuana or weed as we as we know it. Weed, weed is said to be, it's been prescribed to over 2,500 conditions. 2,500 conditions? Over 2,500 conditions uh, that weed can, can be used for. First, people have uh, arthritis. Arthritis, you know, at, at its... At 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 its um, cellular level, it's mostly an inflammatory disease. Yeah, you know, it's, it's you, you, your joints swell; they get filled with stuff. So, weed has anti-inflammatory properties for for people with arthritis, but if it's also been used extensively for cancer patients, because when when cancer patients go through chemotherapy. When they go through chemotherapy, what happens, the way chemotherapy works, they kill your cells. Yeah. Ochuka was telling me that yes. what it does, it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't, it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't know how to discriminate the bad and the, yes. and the good cells. Yes. So in it's a fieka ikienda. In a fieka ikienda. In a fieka ikienda. So with, with, when you take the approach of weed, what it does, it can target the cancerous cells. You can target these cells. The, these are way uh, they are called these cells. So it can target it. It can it can tell. Okay, this is this is live a living cell. This is a healthy cell, and this is this is a cancerous cells. So it can target it. So when most of the side effects that people suffer during uh, conventional cancer treatment sessions, where you lose your hair, fall, you you lose the energy to do most of these things. Actually, there's a woman. I've forgotten her name. I'll remember she's a big celebrity. I'll remember her. It read something. This lady, she had been bedridden because of cancer for years and years and years. And she was doing this, she was doing this. But then she got, um, she stopped everything and began using cannabis. How was, then, she, how was she using it? Was, it? was she using CBD or what? She was using the medicinal type, mm. CBD. Mm. So she used she used it until she got out of bed. She was able to operate functionally without 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 dependence on the opioids. Mm. You know what they do, the pain medication. Another another pandemic that people struggle with, especially in treatment of cancer, uh, is uh, they you deal a lot with pain management. Yeah. Most of the time you once you've gotten it, uh, the big part of treatment is managing that pain. So you find they use opioids for this. So you find the ninjas who are actually out of danger of the original cancer disease, but they are now attached to, addicted to something else, addicted to opioids, you know? So with ganja, you can use it for such treatments without that attachment to it. Mm -hmm. Because you're not using uh, the THC. What is THC? THC is tetra, tetra, tetra what? I'll fucking tell you. But THC is, is, is you the... You can just explain the, what it is. Yeah. It, it is the element that gives you 
it is the ingredient that makes you high mm. yeah it is the ingredient that makes you high so that is the beauty of cannabis as medicine you can get what you want if i want to get high let me get a thc high uh, thc high strain and take that thc high strain and feel high if i want to get medicated let me get something else that's high in cbd mm. that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of it i, f- I feel like i feel like um, when 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 people talk about decriminalizing weed most people think it's just about to do with okay now I have my freedom to smoke but it's it 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 gets far better than that smoking people will always smoke ninjas will always smoke where, where, wherever you smoke like it's illegal in Kenya but people still smoke weed but that's not what you want from it is what are you smoking first is quality if you decriminalize weed it means that you have put systems in place quality can be assured can i walk into a shop they call them dispensaries can i walk into a weed dispensary and get my drug and go home there is the econo- there is there is the economics part of it that this gentleman was talking about yeah you remember the guy that the weed guy in kenya that was that was actually doing his campaign based on the fact that we could be able to wajakoya wajakoya yes do you do you understand the economic impact that weed can have for example yes if yes. you went to the white highlands and started farming yes there, yes instead of the tea or in caricho instead of the weed, tea weed weed is we weed just, is we just grow it inside the house weed is weed is a magical plant There's a reason why several religious organizations believe that uh, weed was a gift to mankind because weed in itself as a plant it makes more economic sense than any other thing you can think of growing in the Kenyan soils uh, for instance just a bag of just a, you you know you know the comparisons they do between weed and sacks of maize you know it doesn't count but look at it this way it takes a smaller piece of land to yield so much of weed as just a smaller just an acre if they were comparing weed and, and cotton eh? an acre of of hemp an acre of hemp this is now the industrial weed that we are talking about a acre of hemp can give you three times what you get from cotton but here is the the kicker when you get it from weed the soil it fixates the soil it replenishes the soil and it doesn't use a lot of it's a hardy plant you won't need to be spraying it uh with insecticides and stuff uh there's a research i got somewhere that cotton farming is responsible for for this statistic is giving for 16% of the destruction of soils worldwide cotton farming because cotton is a very delicate a, a, a very delicate plant from when when you grow it you need to spray it it 1 2 3 4 5 6 and in itself it doesn't it doesn't uh, upgrade the soil it degrades it it takes everything from it it doesn't replenish the soil so growing cannabis even just the hemp version if you take on the hemp version no part of it goes to waste so if you grow cannabis on the yard if you go grow cannabis on your on that one acre thing you can everything gets utilized and um it can be used for a lot of things it can be used as bricks do you know how much it costs to i mean a sack of maize in the sack in the sack and the the I, i i don't know how much a sack of cannabis costs but i can tell you for sure that you cannot compare it with the maize <laughs> <laughs> you cannot compare it with maize yeah you the, the, you cannot compare it with with maize maize kwanza maize if you talk about being hardy maize still needs uh maize needs a lot of weeding and stuff cannabis is a hardy plant plant that thing put it in the soil don't care about about uh, pesticides and stuff like that it just grows in the wild you know um cannabis gives you value 
more times man mm. yeah as I know, as, I mean, an, as an but look look at it this way yeah we are not just looking at it from the point of um uh, versus cannabis yeah cannabis opens so many industries imagine if it's hemp it's used in in the in in, in the in, in to make ropes it's used in the fabric system it's used in building you know so there are so many people that can be employed just by legalizing it even the industry of just making cbd oil imagine ninjas who can be employed making that cbd oil all right in america they have they have they have job titles just based on weed like we someone someone, some someone grows up saying so, grows up saying i want to be a bad tender is a thing like i want to tend uh, the bird is the bird the bird of the plant the bird of the plant someone is just a specialist uh, breeder what it does is breed weed what does breeding weed mean breeding weed means you are creating your own strain you are customizing a particular type of yes strain. yes you're customizing it a name and yes, selling it in the market selling it in the market you decide the features you want from it and then you cross breed it oh uh, until you get what you want Hmm. All right? And then when the, when you have stabilized that, this is where you hear of people breeding their own stuff. Uh, companies seeds that make cannabis seeds, they're breeding their own shit. They've customized it according to the feeling that they want from it. You know? You you use you you use weed for recreational purposes, don't you? Yourself. Sh- should I be talking about that in a live? <laughs> Nobody, nobody's lordy 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 let me just say nobody's gonna a, beat you up let me just say i'm a friend of weed i i believe weed is a, a special plant or should be used in, in the best ways possible when we say legalize weed we say legalize weed for recreational uses too not that medicinal because we are human beings we need to get social if we're in a country where Have you ever asked yourself why ninjas don't why the government fights um um illicit brew so much? I think they fight it because at some point I thought they fight illicit brew mm. because it was poisonous. Mm-hmm. And then I later realized mm. that they are actually trying to sell beer. They are selling beer. The government doesn't care about you. The government doesn't care if you die by if you drink yourself to death. The government doesn't fucking care. The government can stop in your yard and shoot you in your bed. The government doesn't fucking care. So the reason why the government hate illicit brews is that it gives money into the pockets of these motherfuckers, but there's no system for them to get it. One of my biggest um, best dreams is like um, to stay in a place where I can just grow my weed inside this this tree. How do they grow it in those? You bus you buy you buy the necessary stuff. You buy the grow grow tent and you fix it with the lights. you can automate this light uh, to get you know different st- strains will demand uh, 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 different exposure to the light for example f- for someone who's glow- growing an out of fl- an out of flowering strain it's way easy like for you if, if you want to start i'll just suggest try with st- start with an out of flowering strain because for an out of flowering strain you won't need to change the light schedules many times you know you just set to say 18 hours of light and then uh, you automate it uh, you have the light so you can automate it you know and set it there so it will expose your weed to 18 hours of light until that period ends for three months so what you do is you just feed you just feed the plant with what um with the nutrients that it needs new uh, stage specific nutrients when it's young it needs specific nutrient mix uh when it's flowering it needs a different um a, a different combination of nutrients and when it's old when it's supposed to when you now want the bud, the buds to thicken there's also specific nutrient that you When will you them. get this thing if you're in a legal an illegal country in an illegal country well, like l- illegal. L- let's say for npk for for instance one of the nutrients that you feed with is the npk and because nitrogen potassium and so calcium they are easily available yes I, i you can find it in an in an agrovet you can find npk the agrovet <laughs> because they are, they are using it to grow other things 
Uh, I see. Like tomatoes and the things like that. Yeah, so the, the difference would be uh, the amount and how you use it. So basically, when you, how you grow it in, inside the house, um, just get your tent there. The tent is fixed with... Um, with the um, but where will you, where, where will you get this this lights if 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 everything is illegal in Kenya are they using these lights to do other plants they are they are grow tents for other plants yes i think if you got to jumia here and looked but if you can't find them on jumia you can find them on ebay <laughs> the lights yes somebody told me that i could find uh, 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 grow tents in a supermarket. I, I've just never taken an interest and looked, but I believe if you wanted to find, you'd find. So you talked of the smell. There's an air duct that's built within the grow tent that clears the air before it goes outside. So when it comes from the plant, it's it's skunk, smells of weed, but when it leaves the tent, it's fresh air. It's purified. So that's how you do it stealthily. Yeah, stealth. That's that's stealth growing. Stealth growing is the kind that can be growing in my house here, and my neighbor doesn't know I'm growing weed. But those things are expensive. Um, not so expensive. You can decide. If it's just me doing my thing, I just did the tent and the light. Tent that's, inside the house. Yes. It's it's an airtight. Um, it's an airtight. Tent. So if I close that tent, even if I wash a light up, I enjoy fiki plant. Oh, I see. All right. I fiki plant. It's airtight also. How I met that doesn't get here outside. Yeah. So I just feed this plant. It's easy. It's easy. I think easy I, 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 it, I it doesn't wish, need a lot of handling. I, I wish the government could just allow us to grow our weed. Yes, if if you could grow your own weed, Jagero, I was also explaining to Government's you. Government, I was also city. I was also explaining to you yeah. how the big farmer benefits from weed being a uh, being illegal. Man, I'm telling you now, right now. There's a friend of mine on Twitter. Uh, we've interacted on Twitter a lot. She said. Just the same story along the lines of just look for stories of people who've tried to to treat these um, diseases, you know, these lifestyle diseases. No, no. There are a lot of stories about personal testimonials of children, of old men, of people who had been um, incapacitated by over-the-counter drugs, opioids, or opioids, what do they call them? You know, pain management. Pain management yes, meds. yes, there are people who've been... Chuka is telling me that they are terrible. There are people who've been bedridden for such, and when they left it and got to use weed, everything changed. You mean, Every, you mean the CBD? Yes, the CBD. But how do you make the CBD by yourself? If people know how to make the CBD by themselves, but if you don't know how to make the CBD by yourself, there are places in, uh, there's this arrangement in, uh, in the U.S. where you can harvest your own product and take it for processing elsewhere. Uh, in Kenya, how do you, in, in illegal places? In, in illegal places, it's just like somebody making meth in their own kitchen, you know? And, th and that is the problem because, Jagero, I could be having a friend who makes uh, CBD, but I know your doctor prescribed CBD to you. But can I tell you that my friend is making CBD when he's, he, he's, he's doing it in a kitchen like someone making his own things? I don't know if it's passed through any quality assurance thing. I don't know the content of that. I can't refer you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bro. Thank you very much for this opportunity to talk about weed. Oh, we talked about we talked about weed and um, and what and 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 we were talking about how the big farmer also doesn't like it. Yeah, you keep. I again, I don't think a doctor feels happy when you leave the hospital. You well, remember? I think I think, the, I think we would rather say the hospital nev is never happy. The hospital is never happy when you leave. Yeah, no, you, re you remember? You, you remember that? I think there are good doctors out yes, there. Yes, yes, there, there, yeah, there are good doctors out there. But mm -hmm. there are doctors who have been arrested for for prescribing uh, certain brands of medicine because they were getting a cut from it. 
there are such cases yeah but in, when you look yes. at american ads for for medicine yeah. you always see them saying talk to your doctor about it talk to your talk doctor, to your doctor, doctor about, about it, it. because they, it's like a song they yeah keep so doctor doctors about. doctors doctors they are good doctors but let's do you're saying the hospital doesn't like it when you leave Mm -hmm. You remember that scandal of, of Nairobi women scandal where something leaked and they were telling people uh, keep patients in bed uh, do you were given a commission for how many patients if the patient stayed for how many days in bed you remember that fucking thing mm -hmm. yeah so this this pain management stuff that they are using uh, the conventional way of treatment mostly is designed to keep you coming back to the tap Mm. to keep you coming back to the top. All right, thank you very yeah, much, man. people of the internet. My name is Uduru Jigero, and this is Dialogues with Jigero. We were talking about weed, and I've always been interested because I was told to take weed in HCB, in HCBD form. Yeah. So thank you very much for tuning in to Dialogues with Jigero, and until another day, another time. <laughs> Ciao for now. People of the internet. Uh, Ego <laughs> <laughs>